excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you. I know you're having a private moment. No, it's fine. Do I know you? Pardon me, I'm Michael Freed with ROC. I'm a recruiter for possible candidates for our studies. So you're Mrs. Welch, I presume? Yes, I am. It's really nice to meet you, Mrs. Welch. Although this is not the best circumstances, I think you'd be interested in ROC. We've had some really great success with our research so far, and I think you'd be an excellent candidate. I don't really understand what all of this means. That's completely understandable. But why don't you come in for a consultation and see if there's something you'd be interested in? There's no commitment. I'm a little confused, but I will, um, I'll take a look at it and maybe come in. Well, it's nice talking to you, Mrs. Welsh. You have a nice day, and hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Mary? We're ready for you. Come on back. So Mary, what made you want to come in today? I'm still pretty confused, but I did read through the packet to see what you had to offer, and I'm, I am interested. I'm just really confused. That's completely understandable. To break it down simply, we take a direct sample of DNA from your loved one, your son, correct? Yeah, Jack. Jack. Well, we take a sample of Jack's DNA and we put it through an embryo process that's very similar to the normal reproductive system. But with our process, he's returned to the state that he's in just before he passed. If you don't mind my asking, how did your son pass? It's important for the study. He was sick for a really long time and he suffered. He, he suffered so bad that I was relieved when he passed, but now since he's gone, I, I can't manage. I'm sorry to hear that. As you know, we're still in the research process of our study, so if you do choose to go through with this, there's a 50-50 chance that Jack could be reproduced with his exact ailments. We've seen this happen in four of 10 of our other successful attempts. Um, but for that reason, we give you a one-day no-commitment trial. I doubt I would need a trial day. I understand. Well, just in case, it's available option for all of our volunteers. Um, if for whatever reason you don't want to commit to this, you can bring him back within 24 hours, no questions asked. I mean, this is so much information all at once. I'll do anything to bring him back, honestly. We used to have a song. Here comes the sun. 
that was our song. And ever since he passed, it, it doesn't have the meaning anymore. I think I want to go through with this. Okay, great. I'll just need you to fill out this paperwork here. Um, did you bring that sample that we talked about before? I did. I do. This is what he wore to the hospital. All right, I'll give this to my assistant and we'll give you a call in a little bit when the reproduction process has been complete. Robert, this is for Jeff. I can't believe this is all it takes to bring my son back. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. No, thank you. You're helping us develop one of the most important advances in scientific history. But again, if you're not comfortable or something doesn't seem right, just give us a call and we'll take care of it. Thank you again. Thank you, Mary. Good morning. Good morning, baby. How did you sleep? Same as always. What do you want for breakfast? Eggs, waffles, pancakes, heart-shaped waffles, dog food. What do you want? You tell me. I'm not hungry, Mom. Come on, hon. You have to eat something. Come on, get up. I'll make you heart-shaped waffles. Well, I can't. Why? I just feel weak. Okay. Okay, come on. I got you. Come on, Come on. It's okay. Honey, lift up your head. Look, hun. Here, the chair's right behind you. Honey, you did great. Just sit there. Honey, when you're not feeling well, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. When I had you, I couldn't even make it to the bathroom without Grandma's help. But you got better. I keep getting worse and worse each day. Yes, you will. You will. You'll get better. Let me get you something to eat. Let me get you some cereal. I just thought it would be better this time. Well, we were all hoping for that too, but there was that 50-50 chance of this happening and it's unfortunate. I just don't know where to go from here. I, I can't lose him again. You've got a big decision to make. If you keep him around, he's going to be sick and continue to suffer, just like last time. If you take him back, you're going to lose him forever this time. But... He will be at peace, finally. I know. I'll figure it out. Give me a call a little later and just let me know where your heart's at. I love you, Mary. You'll make the right choice. I will. I, I love you, too. Bye.
you, Jack. Hang on. How do you feel, honey? Be honest. It hurts, Mom. I know it does, baby. Mom, use what the thing go away. I promise I will, honey. I'm gonna take you to the doctors. I, I, I can't do this anymore. Please just take me. You will never suffer again, honey. No more pain. It's gonna be over. I promise. I, I can't do this anymore. Okay, but if I do take you, I need you to do me a favor. What is it? You need to let me know that you're safe and you're happy. Give me a sign. Give me something to let me know this. You promise? You promise me you'll do this? Why can't the doctors just tell you? It doesn't really work like that, honey. You'll understand. Just please promise me. Whatever it is, I'll, I'll know. I'll know it's you. Okay, I promise. Dr. Turner? I had to bring him in. Okay. Honey, you're gonna come with me. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel better. I'll see you in a little bit, Mom. I know you are, baby. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. I love you. Love you too. You did the right thing. I know. Familia está escuchando la estación más perrona y los FM.